guys, so this is a little exercise movement to uh, release muscles in the shoulders, neck and middle back. It feels absolutely amazing. Now I will be doing this in my part, I think it's six of the somatic exercise. And this is just a slightly shortened version and it's something you can just do in the evenings, in the morning when you wake up. It's a really, really lovely practice. So you just want to come round into like a mermaid position. So we've got our left knee forward, right knee going back. Now if this is uncomfortable for you, you can bring that right leg out. So there are ways around it. You can use cushions and pillows. You can really pad yourself out here. So do not be uncomfortable, do not be in pain. So try and bring yourself round. So be kind of straight and that foot is going back. But as I said, you can have that foot out straight if you want it. So we're going to start off with doing our little check. So we're going to bring our right hand to left knee. Just bring that left hand behind you. And we're going to turn around to the left. We want you to find a place that is comfortable for you, so we're not forcing it. We're just going to turn to the left, find your spot. Well, it's just on that little star there on my board and then coming back round. Beautiful. Okay. We're going to bring right hand to left shoulder. Just use this as a support rather than putting all of the weight on it. We're going to inhale and start to turn to the left. So inhaling, twisting round. Exhaling back round, twisting to the right. As far as you go, it can go as far as is comfortable. Inhaling, twisting round to the left, taking the head and the eyes. Coming back round to the right. Beautiful. Back round to the left. We bring the head, we bring the eyes with us. Round to the left. Back round to the left, sorry that was right. <laughs> I don't know my left from my right. And coming right round to the right. Now on this one I want you to close your eyes and you can feel that left right hip coming forward as you twist left. And then as you twist right you feel it come back down to the floor. So one more time we're going to twist round to the left, feel the right hip coming forward. And as you come back round, you feel all go back to the floor. Wonderful, come back to the center, lovely. Keeping that hand on the shoulder, we're going to twist to the left, but the head is going to twist to the right. Now you might find it takes a few goes to get used to it. It feels very alien at first. So the body's going to the left, to the right, and the head to the left. Body's going round to the left, but the head is coming to the right. So you feel that hip coming up still. Come round to the right, so we're turning body to the right, head goes left. You feel the sitting bones go back on the floor. Turn left, head comes to the right. Feel hip come forward. Turn to the right, the head comes to the left. Turn to the left, head comes to the right. Turning to the right, head comes to the left. Beautiful. Again, I can't remember how many I've done, so we want to do around six. So turning left, head comes right. Turning right, head comes left. Okay, again, it might take a few practices to do that. It does. Um, takes I'm getting used to, just shake the hands out if you're feeling any kind of pins and needles there. This time we're going to take hand to under the chin here. Now as we turn to the left, our eyes are going to go right, just the eyes. Again, it's very alien, you're not going to be able to twist very far around. Are you? Round to the right, we're going to turn eyes left. So there's not a lot of movement going on. Turning to the left, the eyes are going to go right. Turning to the right, the eyes are going to go left. So we're really training the brain here 
by doing this movement with the eyes. It's very difficult to get that first, but with practice, you will get there. You may feel a little bit dizzy. You may feel a little bit nauseous. It will come to you. You've just got to keep that practicing. Okay, and back to centre. Maybe give your eyes a little bit of a blink there. <laughs> Very strange feeling. Okay, so we're coming down on that left hand a little bit more now. The left hand is coming to, sorry, right hand to the left shoulder. But we're turning around so the elbow is coming onto the mat here. So it's over the mat. You can see it over the mat. Now here we're going to draw an imaginary line going upwards. So the head's looking down at the mat, down to that elbow. You're going to take the elbow up and see if you're drawing a straight line right up to the ceiling and the, head, the chin kind of comes to the forearm, not the forearm, the upper arm. And here we've got a little bit of an arch in our back. As we come down, the chin comes away from the arm and we're kind of arching the back the other way. So you've almost got a cat-cow movement here. So we're coming into cow as we're coming up, so the back goes into that C shape. And as we come back down, we've got the C shape the other way, so the cat, the back is rounding. So we're looking up, we're drawing an imaginary line, straight line up to the ceiling. The back is arching. And this time the back is rounding, the spine, the pelvis is going back, the stomach's going back towards the spine. Couple more. It's taking the head up as far as you can go. And then up. Beautiful. Really sensing where you can feel those muscles working. Lovely. Come back to centre. We're going to do six more of the turns. So using this hand just as a little bit of leverage here just to support, support rather, let's say leverage, support. <laughs> okay, we're going to twist round to the left, the head, the eyes, everything is going like at the beginning. So we're twisting left. Close the eyes down here. And again, feeling that movement, twisting round to the right. Taking the inhale, twisting round to the left, feeling that right hip come up. Left hip goes back towards the ground. You can feel the glute, the um, buttock on the floor as you twist to the right. Twisting left, feel the hip rise. Twisting right, feel it go back down to the floor. Two more, twisting round to the left, inhaling. Twisting round to the right. Last one. Try to keep the upper body as relaxed as possible. The shoulders are relaxing. And round to the right. Beautiful. Come back to centre. Just take that hand down to the knee. We're going to do a post check. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale. Take an inhale and let's see if we've gone any further from that first point. So I am running now to that circle. So back to my starting point. And now I'm at this circle here. You can see that. So I've definitely moved further around. It's beautiful. Let's do that the other side. So right leg is in front. Knee is going backwards. Again, you can have that knee out straight if that feels better. You can bring the leg out a little bit if that's too sore like that. You can use cushions and props. You can have the hand up on the block if that's too much for you there. But we don't want too much weight on that hand. So let's do our post check. Left hand comes to right knee. We're going to turn, find the point. So mine is that little star there on my board without being uncomfortable. So that's my comfortable place. 
Okay, so we're gonna bring left hand to right shoulder and we're gonna start twisting to the right. So inhaling, twisting right, feeling the left hip coming up, twisting round to the left, twisting right, twisting left. Feel the buttock go to the floor, coming round to the right, Twisting round to the left, round to the right, feeling that hip come forward, round to the left. Again, you kind of almost cat cowing again, so you can feel the tummy kind of push out here. And you feel it going back towards the spine as you twist in this way. And the last one. and back round to the left. <clears throat> Beautiful, okay. Coming back to centre, so now we're going to turn the head in the opposite direction. So as we turn right, the head is going to come left. You should still feel that hip coming forward and you should still feel the glute going back to the floor as you turn right. So head to the left, body to the right. Body to the left, head to the right. Inhaling, twist body to the right, head goes left. Inhaling, sorry, exhaling, coming back round to the right. To the left, head goes right. It is confusing. Inhaling, body goes right, head goes left. Feel the hip come forward. Exhaling, twist to the left, head comes to the right. Feel the buttock on the floor. Inhaling. Twisting to the left, right, head comes left. Exhaling, twisting, body left, head comes right. Last one, twisting, round to the left, right, sorry. <laughs> twisting to the right, hip comes up, left hip comes up. Twisting round to the left, head comes right. I have to think about it myself. Okay, coming back to neutral. Now it's the eye one. Fingers come to the chin. We turn the body right, the eyes come left. We turn the body left, the eyes come right. We turn the body right, the eyes come left. We turn the body left, the eyes come right. Turn the body right, eyes come left. Turn the body left, eyes come the right. So you still should have that hip going up and down. So that's about how much you can turn. This is number four. Turn left, eyes go to the right. Turn right, eyes left. Turn left, eyes right. Turn right, eyes left. Turn right. Turn left, eyes right, <laughs> and back to centre. As I said, I still find it hard myself. So give your hands a little bit of shake out, get a little bit pins and needly. So left, right hand comes out here, left hand to right shoulder. We're going to come, turn to the right. So our elbow is over the mat, looking down. We're going to draw that line going up to the ceiling. So the back is arching as we're coming up. As we're exhaling, the stomach's coming towards the spine again, and we've got that curve in the back, rounding of the back. Breathing in, draw that line up to the ceiling. Breathing out, head comes down. Breathing in, the back is arching, the chin is on the forearm. Breathing out, arching the back round rounding the back this time. Breathing in, head lifts. Breathing out, back arches. Breathing in, head lifts. Breathing out, arching. 
Imagine that line, you're drawing that line with the elbow. Last time, breathing in and breathing out. Perfect. Coming back around to centre, give the arms a shake. I'm just going to go back to that starting movement. So right hand, sorry, left hand to right shoulder. We're going to twist round to the right with an inhale. The left hip comes up. We're going to turn it round to the left. The buttock goes to the floor. Breathing in round to the right. Exhaling round to the left, buttock goes to floor. Inhaling, breathing round to the right, left hip comes forward. Round to the left, buttock goes to floor. Two more, breathing in, twisting round. Breathing out, twisting to the left. Last one, breathing in, twist round to the right. Breathing out, come round to the left. Beautiful, well done. Okay, let's place up, let's do our post checks. We're placing the left hand on right knee. This hand is nice and relaxed. Just holding this up. Take an inhale and an exhale. And with the inhale, we're going to twist round. Let's see if we've gone farther than our original point. cross leg, just do a couple of those pelvic tilts, so breathing in, we bring the chest forward, arching the back, breathing out, rounding the back, almost like our seated cat cow that we do so often, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, beautiful, let's take three deep breaths in, and out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, and breathing out, beautiful, really try that every day if you can, you really will find that release in the back and shoulders, I know the I one is quite hard to do, but just keep practicing and you will get there. But for now, have a wonderful day. Namaste. Mm -hmm.